It is Friday again, and that means my favorite way, and hopefully your favorite way, to get to know your Atlas leadership, the often imitated, never duplicated Atlas Med Staff Five Question Friday. With me again this week, and I checked, it's been seven years Long since time. your first one. Yeah. Uh, Director of Training, Aaron Biddle. Oh, director of training, is that right? Yeah, is that okay? There we go. Want to make sure I had that right. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Don't look at the questions. You did that last time. You were you were peeking at the questions last time, and you were. I don't like surprises. I don't. I know you don't, and that's why I've got lots of fun surprises for you here. I'm kidding. These are softballs. Okay. Tell me who Aaron Biddle is. Aaron Biddle is father of two, husband, um, outdoor. Enjoyer, I would, I would say enthusiast, but it's not like I, I wouldn't put it at that enthusiasm level. But I do enjoy being outside, fishing, golfing, hunting, hunting. You yeah. name it. Yeah. yeah, just if it's an outdoor I would say activity, it, I want to be out there. That would it. that would qualify as enthusiast, I yeah. think. Yeah. All right. If Fair you had enough. to choose between sitting at your desk here or being outside doing one of those, outside all day. Long. See, there you go. So there, you, that, I think mm -hmm. that counts quite yeah. honestly. Yeah. All right. Question number two. Last time you did Five Question Friday, mm -hmm. seven years ago, a lot of things have changed in your life since then, when, right? Yes. Considerably a lot of things have changed. Yes. Catch me up on life, work, family, all of the above. Yeah. So um, last time we did this, I was, I believe, engaged. Yes. Living in St. Louis, Missouri. Correct. Um, and was a recruiter. Yes. So since then, I have gotten married. Mm -hmm. I've had two kids. Uh, we moved back to Omaha, so that's exciting. Um, transition from recruiter to recruiter slash trainer slash training manager and now director of training. So, I mean, it's been a whirlwind. That's a sure. lot in seven yeah. years. Yes, that's a has. lot in seven yep. years. And I would say, give me your kid's age, but they're just, we want to make this rather yeah. timeless. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, they're both daycare age right now. So Yeah, I mean, we'll have one starting a kindergarten next year. So five and two as it stands right now. So gotcha. maybe in seven years, we'll, as of we'll say. 2024, yeah, that's, that's yeah. where we are. Yeah. Awesome. All right, question number three. This was a point of contention last time. Okay. Has your opinion about barbecue changed at all? After living in St. Louis, being here, right? Spending some time in Kansas City, like there's, has your opinion about barbecue changed? Um, in a way of I have, where before I was like a staunch no, like it was Kansas City barbecue the whole way. Mm -hmm. Like I've gotten appreciation for the differences, like the subtle differences. There is some good St. Louis style barbecue, okay. very good Kansas City style barbecue, and you just have to be in the right mindset for. I agree for whichever one you're. I, no, I agree with that too. I think one of my fun, one of my favorite online jokes is the guy that asked the person from St. Louis, "Where's the best barbecue in St. Louis?" And the guy says, here's what you do. You get in your car and you drive about four hours west and the first place in Kansas City you see that barbecue, barbecue is the best St. Louis barbecue. Yeah, 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 that's it. Now, that isn't necessarily true. Salt and Smoke was fantastic right. when you, you introduced They catered our wedding, one. right? So that was... Wow. Some, yeah, so that's... Very, very solid barbecue. Yep. Then there's um, Sugar Fire was the one that's a it's a chain, right? I yeah, mean, there's, there's they a couple have multiple of them. places. Salt Smoke now is a chain too, but there's okay. Sugar Fire is they're they're known for like their sides. Like they do some really, mm -hmm. really crazy stuff with their sides, which is delicious. But yeah. I could make an argument that the sides make the barbecue. That's right. The, that it that makes is an the, argument to make the place mm -hmm. so. for sure. All right. So. Question number four: Who or what We're inspires you? Yeah, yeah. So I like that you have the what there because mm -hmm. I think. I get inspired a lot by solving problems, right? So if there's something in front of me or there's a challenge that we need to overcome or there's something like a puzzle that we have to figure out, that's what really I think gets my juices flowing. Um, my wife all the time tells me like she's not looking for answers whenever she's complaining about something. So I go into that solve mode for sure. So I think not so much a person, but like an, an action. It's interesting that you figured out one of those secrets to marriage already, right? Is, yeah, is, is she reminds me every day. When you're getting that, it's not that she wants an answer. Mm -hmm. Just to maybe solve the solve the yeah. larger problem. Yeah. Support her, right? There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right, question number five. If you go anywhere in the world, where would you go? Got to be Bora Bora. Like, I want to just stay. Actually, uh, it's two. It's two things. One is staying on a hut in Bora Bora. Like, I think like I'm, a, I'm a big... Like, over the water and yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah, I'm a big... Mm -hmm. 
mountains versus beach person. Yeah. I want the beach 10 out of 10 times. Really? But yeah, but also like I want to see the northern lights, like something mm -hmm. very, very like, uh, so I don't know, it would be tough if you're like, you can go to this place and be guaranteed to see the northern lights or Bora Bora, then it'd be tough. It'd be a toss up. If I could see the northern lights in Bora Bora, that would be. I don't think that's north uh, enough. No, I don't think it is. It's not at all. So. Aaron, thank you so much. Thanks it was doing fun it. doing yeah. it again. Absolutely. Aaron has uh, become my de facto uh, accountability partner. Going hey, to the gym, yeah, we've right? got, we got to make sure we stay on it. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we'll be doing that later today, I'm sure. Yeah. So uh, this is where I would normally say, if this sounds like a recruiter for you, which he was right at one point, he was director of training right now. So he is training, he is helping train all of our recruiters and the other staff here at Atlas. Yeah. So a very valuable piece of the puzzle that we did not have when we were in our younger days. So, Aaron fills that for us. All right. Um, all right. We'll see you next time. Thank you.